And this story is all about the way Australia deals with one of our most uh, important, well, uh, arguably our most important trading partner, the, the rising power of China. Uh, there's obviously huge benefits uh, that come with, with China's rising place in the world and in the region, uh, but there are drawbacks, dangers as well. And what we found, I think what we exposed is that uh, some of those uh, hidden lurking dangers aren't well debated or known in the Australian community. It's important that Australians know the way that soft and hard power is exercised by China in Australia. And if you like, this is soft power in some ways. All countries do it. They try to influence people. But it's soft power with a hard edge. We're talking about uh, affecting the rights of Chinese Australians living here, affecting the operations of Chinese language media here, and interfering or, or seeking to gain influence, non-disclosed influence, in our political system. So it was a complex puzzle put together over months by a team of journalists from Fairfax and Four Corners to emerge with the picture that we, we had in the end, which was a, an incomplete one, but one that started to bring this problem into real focus, and one, one when it was in focus, that looked quite disturbing. For us it was a many month project. Uh, for all the journalists involved, the journalists who are not named, I mean, we, we really uh, use their great work and they, those journalists have been digging for years and, uh, and tribute must be paid to their fa fantastic work. As a result of this story, there will be change to Australia's political donation laws, but it will go beyond that. Before the end of the year, because of the work that we have done, we will see the government bring forward a bill to look at foreign interference in Australian politics, to try and sharpen those laws, to make sure that things that would be illegal in the United States become illegal in Australia. So we will see changes to the law as a result of this.